Okay, let's look at five easy ways you can save time when making your next PowerPoint. The first tip is how we deal with adding text to shapes. What you don't want to do is create your shape and then create a text box on top of the shape. That's going to cause all sorts of issues, especially with formatting, consistency and hyperlinking those objects. What you should be doing is insert your shape and then just start typing straight on the keyboard to add text. Or you can create a shape, right click and choose edit text from the menu. Next up is all to do with formatting. We've all been there, we've had a series of shapes on the screen and we've got them all how we like them, then we suddenly change our mind on the formatting and rather than deleting and having to recopy and paste, we work on those individual shapes and we try to make them look identical. There's a much easier way to do this and that's using the Format Painter tool. You just click the shape that has the perfect formatting from the main menu, click Format Painter, and then click another shape that you would like to copy the formatting to. If you've got more than one shape, you should double click on the Format Painter tool. There's more than one way to paste information into a PowerPoint. If you're not careful, you end up with a situation like this, where you're pasting through font choice and size that you don't want, and in particular, you're pasting hyperlinks that you don't want. This then leads to a load of wasted time having to go through, manually remove those hyperlinks one by one, change the font back to the right font that matches the rest of your PowerPoint and changing the size and everything else. It's a waste of your time. A better way to paste is to right click and make sure you choose the most appropriate paste option from the menu. What you should choose is the paste option that says keep text only. By doing that, you copy the text across, but you don't copy across any formatting, style choices or hyperlinks. Our next way to save time on your next PowerPoint is to do with how you align and distribute shapes. With the uh, guidelines that come up now, it is easier than ever to arrange your shapes to make sure they're perfectly laid out. But sometimes when you've got a lot of shapes, there is a much quicker way. If you just select all the shapes, you can then use the align menu to distribute those shapes in any way you like. It does save a lot of time this way. And the last tip for this video is all about the layout of your content on slides. Please, please stop faffing about with text boxes, especially if you're having side-by-side -side content or using the same kind of layout on each slide and you're manually by hand uh, realigning all these text boxes. You can deal with that in the master slide and what you should be doing is creating your own layouts or utilizing the pre-built layouts from within PowerPoint. So on the home tab we have the layout menu and from there you can see some commonly used slide layouts as well as any other ones you may have created using the master slide. So save you loads of time.